Hi from Greece. Already two weeks here in Greece. I feel good. I totally adjusted to the time zone. Still need to work on my sleeping schedule, but we will cover this a little bit later on this video when I'm going to do the goals overview. And can you believe that it's already February of 2024? The January passed so quickly. I blinked and January passed, especially the first three weeks. I was still in the United States back then. The time came for me to come back. Friends, how was your first month of, of this year? How was it? Was it fast? Was it slow? Did you feel that life is the same? <laughs> as it was in 2023 or it changed somehow because we set all these goals so let me know in the comments how was that first month of the year in this video will be sincere i haven't written down yet my goals for february we are going to do that together and also let me know if you are into goal setting and if you would like to write them down i already showed you this notebook in my last video in the january reset I'm going to read my goals sitting on the floor. <laughs> I'll tell you from now, I really enjoyed this method of goal setting to set goals per month. I believe it's a healthier way rather than setting the goals for the whole year and expect them to be accomplished somehow. But when you do that per month, you already know that, okay, you cannot put 10 million goals so you have like an idea what you can really accomplish for what maybe you will need more time you will see like the volume of them and maybe you will start erasing some of the goals in the middle of the month because uh, time flies and you still haven't done anything i'm saying that like to not be harsh on ourselves like if we see that something cannot be accomplished in this month nothing bad happens so let's get on it and read what we have already accomplished i have written in my self-care goals this month that i really would like to adjust my sleeping routine to go to sleep around midnight at the latest 1 a.m. and uh, to wake up at 7.30 and it didn't work <laughs> that well this month especially with the transition from United States back to Greece with the time zone difference and the readjusting. I don't fly that often with airplanes. I feel really tired when I land, even if I flew like two or three hours in the plane and that's it. The first week when I came back, my sleep was terrible. I was tired, I was feeling exhausted, but I was sleeping at 3, 4, 5 a.m. And then I wrote that I want to exercise four times per week. Exercise wasn't that good as well. We are going actually to read how much. So down in my habits here, I know it's reversed for you. I just want you to see how is the structure. So here are the main goals and below are the habits. So I have written down sport. Let's count how many times? Seven. <sighs> well, I need to do a lot more. Mirror graphic art. I have done mirror graphic art four times this month. That's too little. Ideally, I would like to do it every day, but this time I just couldn't do it. Mirror graphic art is a way of working with your subconscious through drawing and doodling. It's not difficult at all, even if you are like, even if you don't have a talent for painting or drawing, you can easily do neurographic art. I have also created a video about it. It's a, actually a full tutorial and you can check it out. I will link it here. Meditation. I did only one meditation. That's horrible. Or it's not. I don't know. Maybe I just got bored of it. Next I have written down no meat days. I really want to cut meat. I don't know if I'm going to be full vegetarian or I will just have chicken in my diet and that's it. But I really try to not eat pork, to not eat uh, lamb and beef. But I kept chicken just uh, for the days that I miss it, for the days that I want like to have some... Um, it's not that I miss chicken meat, I miss the meals that include the chicken meat or any type of meat, nine days. Then I have no spend days. What that means is that you don't spend any money during like the whole day, like no 
uh, no going to the groceries, no paying any bills, no subscriptions, no shopping, like anything. You don't touch your wallet, you don't touch your credit card, you don't spend any money. I did pretty well. Eight. Eight days when I didn't spend any money back in January. And also I have uh, added this, I didn't include it in the first video in January, which is breathing exercise. Uh, breathing exercise is uh, when you just sit down for 5, 10, 15 minutes and you do some breathing. It can be deep breathing, different ways how you inhale and exhale and it's good for, for your lungs health. I was really actually enjoying that. I felt that I can breathe more deeply and correctly and i i need to start doing that again i just i just wrote down one breathing exercise in january and now let's go to the january goals so finish 12 gods project i finished it i did all the photo shoots that were required in total i had to do 12 photo shoots with 12 different people because my project includes 12 gods the 12 olympian gods from the ancient greek mythology if you want to know more about this project, you can always follow me on Instagram. I post there my photography work and um, some more everyday stuff that I do and it can become more closer with you. I include this project in my profile, in my highlights and also on my website. I think it will be linked down below so you will be able to view it and engage with the content on any platform you enjoy. I'm not really sure if I told you the, the reason why I did this uh, project. So I also had it in my mind for several years and I wanted to be creative in my photography and do that. But as well, I use uh, this project for my thesis in my university in photography and audiovisual arts in Athens that uh, I would like to, to finish and get my bachelor already. That's it like that I need to do. I need to do the presentation now in February. That will be it. Then we go to the career and business goals. I wrote down that I want to send five proposals for photo shoots to brands. I didn't do anything of this, didn't send any, but that's a good goal for the next one. I received a call and I had to stop filming and uh, kind of did a big break, but uh, it's okay. And uh, we can continue now from this scene, the kitchen scene. Again, the career and business goals. I wrote that I would like to upgrade my gear and wrote about memory cards, about a new lens and external hard drive. For now, I, I didn't get any of this and I will delete, I will like erase the memory cards, they are working fine. I think I need to still get an external hard drive. If you are in photography and or videography and you actually use external hard drives or if you do any kind of editing on your computer, let me know if you do use external hard drives, if it makes your workflow faster. Let me know about that. I am really interested in this. Maybe that will make my workflow better. And as for the lens, I will hold on on it. For now, I do have the 50mm, the portrait lens, and it's a very classic one. It can do a great result. I can attach again here some of my photography works that I have done. All of them are done with a 50mm lens. It's uh, very budget friendly, it's easy to use, it's a fixed lens, you don't have to change anything, you don't have to zoom in or zoom out. Going to the love and mutual goals, so it's about my relationship, I wrote down that I would like communication every day while we are apart and we are doing that. It's, uh, uh, I don't have like any complaint <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy. I will like knock the wood. But then we go to social media and YouTube goals and I wrote down the Instagram posting four times per week. I don't post overwhelmingly. I do create reels uh, regarding photography and um, my photo shoots and behind the scenes and client reviews. I believe I need to do more stories again, maybe to show more, more of my life. 
But in general, I cannot complain. I still can post more. I believe on YouTube, uh, one long video per week, it's one long video per 10 days. I will try to become better and do it like on a specific day, still working on that. YouTube Shorts, yes, I do. I do YouTube Shorts, I post quite often. TikTok as well, whatever I post here on YouTube, I post it on TikTok as well. That was the January goals. I can work better, like I can do better, but I am glad that I finished the main goal that I had and that's actually, that's actually a big relief. Okay, I am done and uh, let's read it now. So, as I said, I, I included three categories for this month and uh, it's going to be like a most focus on the personal and career. So for the personal, I like I will, I need to present my thesis in the university that I called 12 Gods and I'm going to present actually the photo project that I was talking about in my previous videos and before a little bit in this video. Then, uh, investigate about photo galleries. So in my mind, uh, I really would like to uh, have my work printed and uh, to be like in a photo exhibition. So I want to investigate like what's the process here in Athens, what are the fees, uh, the, um, the locations. So this month I will like investigate what, I will gather all the information. And we are getting old and we need to go to the doctor. I'm kidding, nothing is going on. Just a simple checkup. Uh, it's something that I was uh, leaving for tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for a long time. So now we have to, get done with it. Career and business goals. I wrote down not to send proposals to brands, but actually to get two brands collaborations regarding photo shoot or regarding like advertising. Uh, so I wrote down two. Then I wrote down to to get an external hard drive for my editing. Then I wrote down, well, I'm not sure how much this depends on me and on my efforts. Uh, monetize YouTube channel. Like I want to get the 4,000 watch hours that are that is also a requirement in order to monetize your channel. Already a lot of you subscribe to my channel and I am very, very excited for that. Like really thank you for that. So one of the requirements is to get like, to have more than 1,000 subscribers and to get 4,000 watch hours. This one, the last one, it's a more difficult one. It actually requires you to watch my other videos and to watch like a good amount of it. But like, if you watch this video and you enjoy it already, and maybe if you have watched my other videos in the past, then it will not hurt if you watch some other videos I have already plenty on this channel. Yeah, so after this video, the biggest help that you could do for me is watch some of my other videos so we can get this 4,000 watch hours going, okay? <laughs> Thank you again. We are not done here. I really want, I will not like unfold everything right now, but I will just say that I really want to while I'm doing the YouTube channel also to do a podcast and I plan to do like a blend. I want to put here the episodes of the podcast. They are going to be more rare than the actual videos, the lifestyle videos that I'm doing now. I am thinking maybe it's going to be two times per month just to 
start and to try to see if this is my content, if I like this type of content, if uh, it's my style. And I'm thinking to do it with guests and solo episodes. And it's going to be about photography, actually, because I am a photographer and uh, I felt that I want to share some of my knowledge, maybe in this form. I will not tell you right now how it's going to be called, but I will I will say it very soon. And the last goal of the career and business would be to is to create new presets for editing photography. It's a filter that you can put in a photo and it can adjust it and make it more like pleasant and like it can make the result better of the photo you just took. So these are the career goals, they are more this month. And last category is social media and YouTube. This is the same, I'm not going to read it again, I read it before when I was doing the goals overview. The same thing that I already did and I will try just to stick with it. Time for monthly favorites where I show you what I enjoyed the last month regarding shopping, movies, reading, cooking, whatever it may be. This month, although it's uh, more gifts and uh, something useful that I, I don't know what category is this, it's just something useful, you will see just in the several seconds. And uh, what else? And movies. So that, that's it for this month. Let's start with the gifts. The, the most incredible gift that I could get was uh, this little cutie. So this is uh, Lenovo. More specifically, it's Lenovo Yoga 6. It's so small, has a 13 inch screen. It's dark teal. What I enjoy about this laptop is uh, that it's uh, compact, it's uh, small, it's light. I don't have to worry about carrying around with me because that was actually a really important tool for my editing, for my photography. This little tool, it's actually something so useful that I needed. I really needed to upgrade from my last laptop. I believe I don't have to mention that this is not sponsored, obviously, but if Lenovo wants, I can create a video for them. Just let me know. And the last thing from the gifts, and that will be it for now, it is uh, this fragrance. It's actually, a, oh, just the, like the focus, Massimo Dutti, Black Evening. And it's actually very nice. It has some notes of uh, leather, maybe from cigar, maybe something flowery like like jasmine and at the same time it has something like uh, from the citrus fruits like something maybe orange it has a very good winter like deep winter and at the same time fresh smell it's just incredible check it out and i really enjoy that it's black it's chic dark elegant so what else from the material stuff this is something random but i'm going to show you a calendar okay don't really pay attention on the <laughs> on the photo yeah it's a very cute bear and this calendar is actually it's called north american wildlife so it has like uh, pictures of um, wild animals like but the point is not there the point is in the fact that this is a calendar i before the before now i didn't really use them i didn't really see the point it's really cool that you can actually check the days that already passed and you can have a better picture i guess of your month and sometimes you can even like put some notes like of something important that is on this on a specific day and i already put uh, the birthdays of the of uh, the important people that i really don't need to forget uh, usually i don't forget birthdays but i just write them down just in case and yeah and if i have something else exciting to wait for i will obviously put it here i have it on my fridge I know it's very random and, and, and very simple at the same time, but I decided, okay, if I have something that I really like, I'm going to share it in, this, uh, in the favorites section with you. 
the movies as for the movies i watched plenty of movies in january so in the united states we with ari we started to watch the fast and furious uh, franchise <laughs> He insisted to watch the first one because uh, he really likes it, the first part and the second part. So, and I never have watched it. I only have watched the Tokyo Drift, the third part, which I really like until now. And maybe I have watched in the movies, like some of the new movies, some of the new parts that they did. But I never watched the first one, so we, uh, we watched it. It was a very nice movie. I enjoyed the races, the cars, even the dialogue was like cool, it was funny. And I like to see actually how back then the movies uh, were filmed. It's on film and uh, I like to notice the colors and uh, the setups and the, the lighting. I can say that until the fourth part, I really enjoyed this retro feeling because until the fourth movie, you can have that feeling how they do the composition of the movie as well. That impressed me. And the topic, obviously, it's fast cars and uh, good guys um, defeating bad guys, like classic, very classic scenario. This type of entertainment is also important. We don't have to be all the time in the real world or, or to watch some dramas, which are nice, but sometimes it's just fun <laughs> to watch something like that. And I watched something else. Yeah, I watched also the third part, the continuation of the My Big Fat Greek Wedding. And that was just incredible. I watched it on the plane on my, on my way to Greece. This was such a funny movie. Great dialogues, great scenario. Like, it's, it's fun. It, it's not that it hasn't happened before, this scenario, but it's very fun, actually. It's original, it's uh, authentic, like you you can actually learn a lot of stuff about Greece. How it starts that this is a Greek-American family that lives uh, now in the United States and uh, there is a daughter who is the main character and she meets uh, her future husband in the United States who is an American and he gets involved more with the Greek culture. They fall in love and they want to get married so uh, they are planning uh, the big Greek fat wedding because uh, there are a lot of Greek relatives involved and everybody has to say something. Everyone, everybody wants to give their advice and uh, they are funny, they are loud. You get to know actually a lot of stuff about the Greek culture and some Greek words and Greek phrases can be uh, can be like said there and the Greek music and you learn about the Greek food. I believe it's funny, not because I'm Greek, but uh, I mean, if for ge in general, I guess I believe it's funny. Maybe because I'm Greek, but maybe not. <laughs> and the third part, this couple is already in their 50s and they have like a grown up daughter. And what happens is that they want to fly to Greece actually for the first time to for our main character to see her origins with all other Greek American relatives and they fly all together. It was just incredible. I laughed so much in the airplane that actually made my mood and I would really watch it for another time. This is the type of movies that I could easily rewatch. And as for the TV series, I have like I have like a plenty of uh, recommendations this month, and it's called The Crown. It's uh, it's been around like for several years now. It's about the British uh, royal family, and I really do like in this series that they really focus on every member of the family from the past and nowadays as well. They start from the beginning with the Queen Elizabeth II with her wedding and coronation back in the 50s. As the time flies, she becomes older, she has children and grandchildren, and they show the storyline, what was happening in the world, important uh, famous uh, events that happened, and at the same time, their emotions, how they felt, what were going what was going on the intrigues all of that i believe in my opinion they really unfold every personality every character 
of the royal family and they can even dedicate the whole episode for one person i enjoy that i believe it's authentic i i cannot like i we cannot be sure 100 but it seems authentic like how each each of them felt i also enjoy uh, the colors the composition the um, the framing everything obviously the acting as well and the and the actors but how the the tv show is made itself like there was a lot of work and it's visible that was that is great if you are into the royal family and you haven't uh, started this tv show then i highly recommended it i believe that's it that's the favorites of this month let me know was it little was it too much like you don't like too much of blah blah i just like to talk only in the videos i'm an introvert we, we said that